chug, 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 chug. This Halloween special edition of the Drink of the Week segment is brought to you by grown-up Halloween parties, sexy maid costumes, and going home alone. Womp, 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 womp. <laughs> For Halloween, we decide to go with uh, Whole Hog Beer's Casper White Stout. And if you can't guess it already, Casper the Friendly Ghost, exactly. Casper, Halloween, tying it all together for you folks. Oh, whoop, whoop. So if you guys remember, we tried Whole Hog's Pumpkin Ale a few weeks ago. That was uh, Steve's favorite pumpkin ale. Um, we both really like that. Yep. Uh, I think that's probably one of the best that we've had so far on the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. So um, so why not stick with the you know the best? Why not stick with one of their other versions? And this is the Casper White Stout. We're going to drink this separately and then as their website says, we're going to add the whole hog pumpkin ale to the Casper White Stout to give that a review for you guys as well. So bonus double dip edition of drink of the week here. <laughs> hey, right. It's Halloween, it's a special edition, might as well. Let's go. It, Nothing better than drinking beer while you're walking around with the kids while they exactly. get candy. Shout out to those parents that hand out beers to the adults when they come up, too. It's trick or treat for them as well. Uh, that's what adulting is. Oh, I love There's a couple houses over by my way that does that every year. I love it. <laughs> First impressions after drinking the Casper White Stout. Now, before Chris gives his review here, we got to be honest with you folks. We weren't able to find a six pack of the Casper White Stout. Yeah. Okay. So there's a beer place near us, uh, these six packs and dogs. Where we went, they had the Casper White Stout on on um, on tap from a keg. So we went and bought a growler of it to review for this segment here. Um, so I don't know if that will play different into the taste of it. Like, you know, when you drink beer out of a bottle compared to a can, it tastes different. Um, so I don't know, tap-wise, would it taste different than coming out of the bottle? Yeah. Like, that we, that you know, when we did the, the whole hog pumpkin ale. And then, yeah, I'm wondering that too because the difference on their website just listed as JP's Casper White Stout, and the one that was on tap that we got today was Casper White Stout Nitro. Okay. So Nitro pours a little bit differently. Right. So since that pours differently, we bought it in a growler. Um, we actually only bought it about an hour or two ago, um, so it hasn't been sitting long. It kind of tastes a little flat to me. I I get the flatness of it too, and I and I want to say maybe that's just because it was poured from the yeah. the tap from the keg into the growler so like you said a little bit. it hasn't it hasn't settled well um so i i do get some of the flatness of it I, you know i'd like to maybe drink this again a day or two later um after it kind of settles and sits for a while but i gotta tell you like it's it's smooth like for it's a smooth. stout i i would definitely get this for a stout and you know, for it being a blonde stout too. You know, I'm I'm new. I'm used to drinking your dark stouts. So it's yeah. a compared to a blonde stout, but for it being, I've never even heard of a white stout before this before this beer. So for it being a, a white stout or a blonde stout, you know, you have Guinness blonde. Yeah. Um, okay, it is another is another white stout, but I would definitely I would definitely recommend this for sure if you're out at a place that has it. Um, like I said, it probably tastes better coming out of the bottle, you know, uh, than than straight out of the tap into a growler and drinking it, you know, an hour or two hours later. But I, I, it's smooth. Uh, it tastes good. Not really sure flavor profile wise what I'm picking up. I can't yeah. really put my finger on it. I just know that it tastes good. Just to divulge a little more information, other than like how we bought the beer, we also are taping this after we drank another beer. And the beer that we had before this was from a couple weeks ago that we did the review on Southern Tier Cold Brew Coffee Pumpkin. And I'm not sure if the coffee's still lingering on my palate, even though I, we tried to cleanse our palates afterwards. And I'm, because I'm still getting some coffee, but they do have in the description that there is uh, coffee hints in this beer. So it's so probably, it might be the, the coffee it hints. It could be. Because I don't have the, I don't, I don't have the bitter aftertaste from the pumpkin mm -hmm. coffee cold brew that we had. I definitely enjoy this. Uh, like I said, I I have no problem drinking this as a white stout, more of a dark stout, more of a dark stout guy myself. So it, it's not as creamy as some other stouts that I would normally drink. That's kind of one of the reasons why I do like stouts. You know, the creamy, the flavor. 
Because I like the chocolate. I like the But again, the, the I, 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 would, in I would go into that's the difference between a dark stout and a white yeah, stout. Yeah, could be. So, yeah, I've, I was really kind of hoping maybe it would be similar. It, just the same thing that you would get from a dark stout and just put it as a light beer. Before we add the the pumpkin or the whole hog pumpkin ale to the white stout, like the website says, on a scale of one to five sumos, what would you give the Casper whole hog Casper yeah. white stout by itself? Me, I'm a little disappointed. I think I'm going to go with a two. Okay, um, I won't go as low as you. I'll I'll go with a, I'll go with a three. I'll okay. keep it middle of the road. Okay. I think one of the like we said, the factors of it being from a keg into a yeah. growler, um, kind of tasting it after another beer. Um, by itself, I, I would go a three. I would definitely circle back around and drink this again later on to see if my view of it changes. I agree. So, so I might put an asterisk. Well, I would, next to I would put an asterisk but... next to it for sure. But uh, so a two for you, a three for me with an asterisk to go back and try it again. Yeah. So you folks out there, if you're out there, try it. Let us know what you think. And um, now we'll move on. We'll add the. Yeah pumpkin ale to it and see what that tastes like so what they posted on instagram with this is that it's supposed to be you know the pumpkin and this white salad is supposed to be like pumpkin and whipped cream okay that's, so that's like what pumpkin pie that's what they want you know the, for, the flavor well, profile as a chubby kid if i'm getting pap- if i'm getting pumpkin <laughs> pie in my beer like, yeah whoo, exactly let's close the door wrap up shop let's so let's go try. let's try the the Pumpkin pie version of it. I got to tell you, like, I definitely get the pumpkin pie aspect, yeah. the, the pumpkin and the whipped cream for sure. Yeah. I would, I would have it, you know what? It's like a, it's like a black and tan. Mm. Okay. I would, I would yeah. drink, I would drink this, I would drink the combo together more than I would drink the white stout by itself. You know, just I like agree. how I, I'm a big fan of black and tans. I like black and tans. So I would, I would definitely go with the combo, the combo drill. Compared to the stout by itself. Yeah. I, I I really feel like in that first sip, I didn't taste coffee. So I kind of feel like that that wasn't my palate, you know, or the the pumpkin, the spice and everything just cleansed it more. Definitely that first sip, I did feel like I was drinking pumpkin pie. So their description was spot on. And I enjoyed this combination a whole lot more than I enjoyed the white stout by itself. Yeah, drinking it some more here, the, the combination definitely works. Um, if you're in an area where you can find both, I would highly suggest buying both and doing the combo, like I said, like a black and tan. The whole hard pumpkin ale by itself, we already reviewed that. We gave that, you know, almost five stars across the board. Yeah, and that, <clears throat> honestly, I don't think it really changed my score at all by adding that in. No. I just enjoyed it a different way. Right, absolutely. 100% agree with that, no doubt. So... The combo version of this, what would you give on a scale of one to five sumos? I, I'd still keep it the same. That's what I was saying. I don't feel like the, co- the combination changed my original score in any way. It just was a different variation of it. So I gave 4.75 the last time. I'm going to keep it there. Okay. I'm, w- I'm with you. I- I'll go I'll go a, f- a four and a half on right. the combo. I believe I was a five on the pumpkin yeah. ale just because that's my number one. Whole hog is my number one. But this by no means is a detriment to the pumpkin ale by itself. So no. even though my rating's a little bit lower, I, I've this is definitely on the upper tier of what I would sit down and drink mm-hmm. for sure. And if I'm able to be at a place where I can mix the both, I'm definitely going to mix them for sure. Yeah, and I definitely wouldn't mind if we could, like, because we're able to find the whole hog pumpkin ale in the six-pack. If we could find the Casper style in the six-pack, I would definitely like to try that. Um, see if there is any difference between the nitro uh, draft between the nitro and the and the regular yeah. stout. Yeah, hey, whole hog. Um, we're gonna tag you in this, and if you're listening, send the dumb marks here uh, a way to get the white stout itself uh, compared to the nitro brewed white stout, so we can give that a a legitimate review by itself. Um, and, and, you know, as always, we'll, we'll gladly take a six pack of each so we can put this combo dip together and roll out. Two's better for one in this case. And I like the two together a hundred percent more than each of them by themselves. And I mean, Hey, whole hog, what, while you're listening, if you want to figure out a way for us to get some of that hazelnut brownie porter, I wouldn't be upset over that either. Ooh, man, we can find that and review that in an upcoming <laughs> episode of the, the drink of the week. So as always, folks, double dip time edition here on a special Halloween edition for Drink of the Week segment. So we ask you to grab your glasses, your cans, your bottles, your shots, whatever you're drinking to with us this week, 
and hold them up high as we go to good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the seas. But the best ships are friendships, and friends will always be. Blue. Cheers.